Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. And this will be something different. As you might know, we are doing a league for you guys with prize support from Card Hoarder. It's free to enter. It's league number eight that we do. It's because of the support we get from the patrons at patreon.com slash magic gathering strat. So if you like these leagues, please become a patron. Now we are doing Pauper Commander. I have not played a match of this format. I played one Magic Gathering Strat game of uh, uh, of Commander. We played uh, some of the video makers played the Commander game. You can find it if you search for Commander and Magic Gathering Strat on YouTube. Uh, yeah, it was interesting. That was in 2013. So okay, my opponent is Grifflet. I've chosen to play with Alessia, who smiles at death. Uh, the deck is by Roberto, thank you Roberto, and I have not tested it, I am... Um, so the warning is, I will make a ton of mistakes, and if you're not happy with that, uh, don't watch the video. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So I can play a co the commander anytime I want, and if it dies I can play it again for two mana, I'm not sure about the rules of commander even. So where is the command zone? There is the command zone. So he is playing Noom of the Devastator. Uh, that sounds a lot better than Alesha. So, uh, but I can keep this, right? I have uh, colored mana of all sorts. Having command tower in the starting hand seems really good. So I have Cavalry Pegasus and he has a, a freaking dragon. Okay, I am definitely an aggro deck here. Two mana, I think some cards I never played here. But I don't have a one drop. So I will play War Marshal. And then get value for the Sky Hunter. And Alessia herself is three mana. Interesting. And ravenous rats, haha, I see a theme. So black, red, aggro with <laughs> cavalry pegasus coming um, at some point. Okay, it looks like I should start with the command tower. And I can't do anything else. Forty minute timer, very sweet. Uh, maybe it's not War Marshal. What? Okay, so uh, I can play. Oh, it's. Oh. Uh, so I pay one. And now I have two mana and color. But this is way too slow. I need to win the game before he reaches one turn before after he reaches that, then I will have nothing. So making him discard his hand uh, has no point because he will still just play that guy. So how do I do? Okay, I have Oblivion Ring. That's pretty good because then he has the option of putting it in the command zone or something I don't know we shall see I am going to go for the rats and then Mardu Skull Hunter and still discard his hand and as War Marshal is a bit worse when I can't play the upkeep there is no synergy with oh, this seems horrible and there, there is no synergy with like having a horde of creatures. I want to play Alesha, but something has to die first. So I guess all I have is uh, creatures with Enter the Battlefield abilities. No, Cavalry Pegasus doesn't have one. Stonehorn has. I return a creature with power two or less. So I can turn Stonehorn every turn. But it doesn't, it lives. 
It isn't until end of turn. I have never played Alesha, but I always wanted to play her. Okay, so next turn he will be casting uh, an enormous dragon. Hopefully I can hit three mana so I can um, Oblivion Ring it. What happened? Volcanic upheaval. Oh, he's a land destruction deck. And uh, that's perfect. No, oh, the hammer hand. Oh, God. Too fast. Okay, I know what I'm discarding at least. I have 40 minutes playtime, so discarding. This will be super critical because now he will destroy another land. But it's a bit fitting if I get destroyed by land destruction. As I like that so much for the Pauper Gauntlet. But it is no land destruction. Or maybe it's a stone rain now. No? <laughs> okay, now I play Hammerhand. But as we have 40 life, this is going to take forever. Can't block. And the Numot will do pretty short work on me. I did play a lot of multiplayer. Actually, I spent years on Magical Line playing only two-headed giant. I did love the two-headed giant format as it worked before Vintage Masters. I haven't played it since then. Which I should because I have all the power nine and stuff. I don't know how it works. I did have, like, I sat down and tried uh, Commander in 2013, and then a couple of days later I woke up and I was like, ah, well, I must stay away from this. So that is why I have played so little Commander. Uh, and I don't really see the point of one-to-one -one Commander, it's like somewhere between Pauper and Standard Pauper, or somewhere between Pauper and Draft. And now he can play Numut. So I can probably safely concede when he does. Uh, Dignitary seems super expensive, but Pegasus seems useless. At least I don't have to worry about sideboarding. Looks like a sweet deck. Shout out to Grifflet. <clears throat> I love it when my league opponents are good at setting times. It's often very difficult with me being in Europe. And uh, the opponent being in the US. I think that's our first duel. <laughs> Begin sideboarding, uh, which is just unnecessary. <laughs> Why is there even such a step? Okay, so now we know he is playing land destruction. We do want to play first. Two lands. Nothing happens. I, I can't do anything. So, but mulliganing isn't a great idea. How, if I have like 35% land, it's very likely I end up with two lands. But maybe I would get a little more action than a 1-3 creature. So I think I have to mulligan this. And now we are in the very same spot. And I don't dare go lower than this. He mulligans the 6. And I'm putting that on the bottom. Oh wow, absolutely nothing happens again. I can cast Alesha when I hit 6 mana. Aggro seems hopeless in a format where people have 40 life. Oh, 
Well, at least I can be in the league and give people some easy wins. Uh, shout out to everyone who is in the league. I'm glad you are uh, enjoying what we offer. <laughs> yeah, one tree. Awesome. So I will save that until I can exploit like the, this guy. But that seems it seems better to have one wide and soldier than this effect. So I'm stuck at two lands again. It's Christmas for the land destruction deck. A morph. <sighs> well, I can always cast faces looting, I guess. Discarding what? Three mana. I think it's Grey Merchant because it's just so expensive. And the rune mark because it just sucks. Okay. So should I journey his morph? Haha, three lands. So I can't play a white spell, I can't play... Well, I can get the green version back. Yeah, card advantage. And one more man and I can start doing things. Okay, can't cast that. Journey. I can exploit the imp, getting a one tree that can block. Can't cast a lesser yet. So I guess I am exploiting the imp. I can attack first. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow, that card looks awful! But when you have to build a 99 card deck, of course... The question is if I should exploit. I think maybe I shouldn't. Having a 1-1 flyer seems better than doing a drain for two. Also, I get a lot more pips for the Grey Merchant. He has two mana left until he plays the dragon, so I'm saving my journey for that. And now I'm going to block because then at least he has to unmorph and spend his whole turn doing that. But it's a land destruction spell, right? Yes. Which means that I will be defenseless once the dragon comes. Ha! I have board supremacy. And then he loses the ice fall. And I attack for a mighty two damage. Yeah. Take that, sir. Only I have a 19 turn clock now. If you have any suggestions for a deck I should be playing here in the Popper Commander League, uh, let me know. 
I would be happy to play a deck you provided. I think I'm looking for a grindier deck that... Uh, no, I just had to go for this deck because I have always wanted to play Alesha. But maybe I should be playing a grindier deck. I like his deck. But that's a bit noobish to just play the deck that beat you every turn. I do love land destruction. He transmutes, muddle the mixture. Oh, tutoring in commander is pretty good, I bet. But what can you get for muddle the mixture? Removal? I wonder what turn I will hit 5 mana. It's an Iset Signet so you can cast the dragon, which I cannot do anything about. My default option is to just play this deck next time. I think this, of course, the deck isn't this bad. I've had horrible draws here. So what was the name of his commander? It's Numot. <laughs> Numot the Nummy. That's the only thing I can think about when I say that. Numot the Devastator. <clears throat> and he doesn't cast him. What happened to my voice? Why doesn't he resolve Numot here? That's just 5 mana. That's not enough for Numot. Ah. <laughs> it's just another land destruction spell. He wants to make sure that I can't Doomblade Numot. And you know what? He did. Okay, now I'm discarding the Grey Merchant because there is no chance in hell that I will be able to play it. I'm really impressed by Challenge, the software that Bava found that uh, we run the league on. It seems a lot better than other leagues I played in. So highly recommended if you want to do leagues. Okay, now pretty much I have to draw a white mana. And then I will learn if this guy is exiled. Or if he... But I don't find the white mana, so it's over. Thank you for watching. And please let me know what you think about Popper Commander and what you think I should play next uh, next week. <laughs>